Hello everyone, Blaise the Hedgehog here, and we're going to be continuing on uh, the Red Alert 1 All Skirmish Challenge. This is North by Northwest, all the rules are the same. I accidentally forgot to turn on Shroud Regrows on this one though, so terribly sorry about that. But, um, I noticed on my channel today I actually got 141 subscribers, and guys, that is just like ridiculous <laughs> honestly like I never it I never even seen a hundred subscribers in the future of my YouTube channel because I just didn't really know if people would like my stuff to be honest I just play games and upload it and I mean there's tons of gaming channels out there that are obviously better than me sorry just getting a drink there and uh I mean, seriously, I've always said in the beginning, even if I only had one subscriber, <clears throat> I would continue to make videos. But um, I just wanted to get all the good things uh, said, because I actually want to talk about something uh, really important. Um, it has to do with the Command & Conquer music videos I uploaded, where they are converted into 8-bit. Some people... I think are taking it too literally when they read the title of those videos. Um, I don't I take much of anything anybody says, even if someone is trolling me or they are obviously hating. I don't really care because I don't know anybody on the internet. <laughs> and they don't really know me unless they watch my videos where I'm talking about my personal life. I don't really have a lot of videos about that, but I'm probably going to talk about my personal life a little bit in this one. That way, just in case if these people do see this video, maybe they'll understand this whole situation with these Command & Conquer music videos that are in 8-bit. Now, first off, they're not really in 8-bit. I didn't go and make them in an actual software from scratch. I just straight up, honestly, do not have the time to with my job and I work at uh, a factory and it's not like factory jobs aren't like what you think they are it's not like like this trash heap of filthiness and all that crap we actually do quite a bit of engineering there in electrical engineering uh, we make metal conduit fittings so people that are like building things that have electrical wire running through conduit you know if they need you know to like make a bend somewhere or they are hooking it up to a machine they use the metal uh, the metal conduit fittings to do that um so it's actually a really interesting job you can learn a lot and they actually pay to uh send you to uh, college to get engineering courses so if you think factory dot jobs suck they really don't and they actually pay really well and the job is so easy like an infant could do it it's so easy but uh anyways enough of that on with the actual topic um let's see here mainly on the command and conquer 8-bit conversion videos that i've done i wanted to make it perfectly clear since obviously it's not clear enough in the uh description these are converted from a MIDI file. I never made these, okay? So this is just converted from a MIDI file. And I think the program I used was called GXC... C something. I cannot remember. It's a weird name. But basically, it just converts a MIDI and makes it kind of sound like an 8-bit. Now, some songs sound really crappy when you do it. And obviously, on the one I'm talking about right now, which is on the Act... Act on Instinct 8-bit. It's very obvious that it sounds like a car horn honking. Or a car honking its horn like every five seconds. But anyways, regardless. Um, what I wanted to announce is I'm not like a faker or anything. I, I know I never obviously made this by scratch. And... I never planned on making it by scratch because I don't have the time because of my job. However, before you, and I'm not saying it's getting to me, but before 
and th just this is just advice in general. Before you post something like, oh, there's no effort put into this, you use this program to make this, or this is actually less listenable than the original song, because it's not because it's fake bit, but because of those internal beeps, and I think he's talking about the car horn. Which, yeah, is kind of annoying after a while, but I just thought it was interesting to be able to convert uh, these MIDI files and make it kind of sound like it's 8-bit. Even though it's not, you know, made from scratch, I was actually hoping by uploading these, since I couldn't find any 8-bit remakes of Command & Conquer songs, maybe somebody, this would, like, make them want to do it. So that's what the real goal of this was for. That and I thought it was like just an interesting concept that you could use a MIDI file and convert it to make it sound 8-bit. Um, sorry, I'm trying to keep my train of thought going. I'm hearing the gameplay noise of Red Alert. I'm going to turn it down. Um... Anyways, like I was saying, but before you post comments and stuff like that, you really need to think, yeah, even though, for example, like, if I was to make one from scratch, and it absolutely sucked, <laughs> and I I uploaded it knowing that it absolutely sucked, um, before you post things that could potentially lead to some kind of negativity like I don't know for instance I upload it and it obviously sucks and someone says hey it obviously sucks well you're basically just rubbing it in their face instead of saying stuff like that you could encourage them by giving them constructive criticism not like in a harsh way but in a way that it will make them want to pursue what your, tr your advice that you're giving them as in, like, oh, well, if you want it to sound better, you need to do this and this and this. Just keep practicing, you'll get better. But in my ex my case, for example, I d didn't really have time to make it from scratch at all. So I just used a program to convert a MIDI file and was hoping it would sound interesting to other people and hopefully make somebody else who does have the time to create 8-bit songs from scratch be able to because I will be completely honest I, I just can't with my job my girlfriend and my real life friends and making videos I just don't have time to sit and construct a song from scratch when I don't really have any musical talent to be honest so I would re ha literally have to teach myself how to and I'd have to look up tutorials and all that. And that would take away more time from me being able to make videos. Because I would either have to cut off making vi uh, videos by doing that. Or I would have to cut down with my social life just to learn how to make 8-bit songs. Which to some people, they don't, you know, they don't have to do that stuff. They don't have to cut off their friends and their loved ones you know just to do things but i you know obviously i'm not just gonna ditch my friends or nor my girlfriend or family just to make um like youtube videos or make a song or reteach myself to make a song now it could be something we did together but at this point in time that's just not going to happen and just you know, that's just basically the point, what I'm saying. I'm not going to mention who said this, because, you know, I'm not trying to, like, start a fight or nothing. And everybody has the right to their own opinion. That's why I always leave my comment sections open, as long as things don't get too hectic. If I check my comments and I see people getting mad at each other or saying hateful things to each other or putting each other down, then I will go and turn off the comments because that's just not the way to do it there's no sense in putting somebody down even if yes it doesn't take really much effort to get a midi file and just convert it like that i will agree with you it doesn't take any effort at all but i'm not doing it to be like oh look at this i made this and i never said i made this i said i converted it so I'm not saying I have any musical talent at all to make these. 
Um, also, just some advice. If it sounds like crap, just don't listen to it. I cannot stand to listen to things that sound like crap, so I just don't listen to them. It's, you waste more time to po- to listen to something, just to pick a song. You waste more time to listen to that whole song and then complain about it. Now, if you listen to a song, and maybe it's not your cup of tea, but you want to give some constructive criticism, that is well worth your time because you're actually helping somebody get better at whatever they're doing. But listening to something and like the whole video or song, whatever, and then complaining about it, you're just wasting your own time. I mean, you could be doing something better like making one from scratch so other people can listen to it. Just saying, though. I think it would be really awesome if somebody really did make uh, Command and Conquer music from scratch and make it sound like 8-bit music. I think that would be really awesome, and I wish somebody would. That's why I kind of want somebody to make it. And that's, like I said, the main reason I made these and uploaded them. And then somebody asked if I could do more of them, so I went ahead and converted uh, some more midis that I could find. I wasn't going to upload any more after that, but... um. Yeah, but just, you know, if if it sucks and you hate listening to it, just straight up don't listen to it. But if you want to listen to it, like if somebody was making it from scratch and it didn't sound good and you obviously know what you're talking about, go ahead and give them constructive criticism. But these are converted. I did not make them. I never said I made them. And I just don't have the time to, unfortunately. If I did have the time to, I wouldn't have a problem, Take like, even if it was to please everybody on the planet. I would take them down and just redo it from scratch. But, like I said, I just can't. I don't have any time for that. I'd have to reteach myself. I'd have to look up tutorials. And God knows I have looked up tons of tutorials on almost everything I've possibly done. But, long story short, regardless, you just need to realize that before you post a comment that could lead to any kind of negativity or it's attacking the person you're talking to directly in any way, you need to think, you know, you're not in their position. You don't really know why this situation has, you know, became the way it is. Like, you don't, for instance, you don't know why I uploaded these. You could think, hey, this guy uploaded these thinking he was going to get popular off of it. <laughs> I'm definitely not. Um, sorry, I had to get another drink. But no, I definitely never thought that. The only, Like I said, the only reason I post of these is to hopefully encourage someone to make uh, 8-bit Command & Conquer music because I would love to hear it. So that's the reason behind it, but you don't know that reason, so you shouldn't you know, really attack the person that has uploaded the video until you know exactly why. Now, if somebody made it blatantly obvious that they uploaded it to get famous off of or something. Like, if I would have put in the description instead of converted to 8-bit, I could have said made from scratch took so and so many days and stuff like that. And that would, you know, make it sound like that I'm trying to get attention and, you know, I've spent so much time doing this when I really never did. Uh, and I wasn't going to lie about it. So I put converted to 8-bit, which takes like two seconds if you have the software already downloaded and everything. So, not really knowing if it's direct hate speech. Judging by the comments, like I said, I'm not going to say really who. But, um, uh, I will say to one of the comments, they call me the maker. I never made this, so, and I never said I made it. So, yeah. <laughs> Need to read the description. I'm just reading. Awaiting orders. 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hmm. But anyways, like I was saying, <clears throat> yeah, I know, don't get me wrong, it takes absolutely no effort to download a MIDI and convert it into 8-bit. And, you know, I don't really, you know, see any point of arguing about that because that's just... You know, common sense. It literally takes no um, time to do that. But given my situation, I literally don't have time to teach myself how to make this music from scratch or anything. So I really don't have a choice. I just wanted to see. I seen it. A uh, YouTube video. Someone had done it. Uh, you converted a MIDI into 8-bit, and I was thought it was pretty interesting. So I was just going to try, and I found some commanding uh, Conquer music files that were MIDI's. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and converted them, and it sounded pretty interesting the way it turned out. So I figured I'd go ahead and upload it. And while whilst uploading it and publishing it, I was hoping if somebody did see it, somebody would go and actually create the songs from scratch because a lot of them kind of like blow it up in 8-bit. It's okay, but it sounds kind of crappy. <laughs> and Hell March 1 definitely sounds like way off. It sounds faster and the notes just don't sound right converted. But somebody wanted me to upload one of those, so I just went ahead and did it. So yeah, I think... Um, the only one I uploaded, I uploaded Act on Instinct in 8-bit and then Hell March 2 in 8-bit. And I pretty much left it at that because I didn't really, you know, want to do any more. You know, because there's really no effort put into it. You don't have to put any effort into it. And that's why I just really didn't want to do it anymore. I was like, well, this should be enough. If somebody sees this, hopefully it'll stir up a conversation with somebody who does know how to... Cr uh, make stuff like this from scratch and maybe it will give them the idea to do it hopefully since I don't have the time to and then I can't remember who asked but somebody else asked if I could upload more so I found the last midis I possibly could of Command and Conquer songs that didn't sound like crap when you converted it and uh, went ahead and uploaded those but Sorry if this, like, offends anybody that I use this software and then upload this music. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Please don't crap on my face. But, uh, no, seriously, though. It's not that big of a deal. Though the people who did comment, I think one of them can make 8-bit music. I'm gonna look real quick and see if they have any. Maybe they do. Oh, they do. And it's loud. There's some kind of bug with YouTube. If you go to somebody's homepage, their channel trailer starts playing. <laughs> and then when you try to go to, like, videos or playlists or anything else, it just keeps playing. And it is so annoying. You can't get it to stop unless you refresh the page or just close out the tab completely. Yeah, they've actually got a lot of 8-bit music, it looks like. In that case, since I asked one of them if they would make it, hopefully... Yes, sir. They will upload. Ah, uh, yeah, there's server... or not server rules. Um, channel rules, the goal of... So and so's. Ch I might as well say it. Hurts Devil is to cover songs previously not done or known by others in the Western world. Uh, okay. Um. Well, in that case, Hurts Devil, since you absolutely know how to make um uh, eight bit music, my request to you is please make Command and Conquer eight bit music. Because nobody else has, and you would be the first person who did. And honestly, Command & Conquer is like one of my favorite games. 
from the music from it is awesome. And since you obviously had music, more musical talent than I do, and I had none, it would be awesome to hear it. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic way, so don't take it like I'm saying it sarcastically. I'm not mad at anybody or anything. But seriously, though. Long story short, uh, kind of drugged this on, didn't I? Mm. Well, the video is actually pretty long, so I guess that's why I did. But, anyways, yeah, like I said, before you even in, you take this with you in real life, before like you say something that could affect a person negatively, um, make sure you know that the position they're in because they're the position that they're in could be completely different than what you're thinking I know that there are some people who use that software and upload converted songs to YouTube and I'm definitely definitely sure that they sit there and say they made it and swear up and down that they made it but they have no proof they made it and I'm being straight up honest with you in even in the description, it's converted. I never made it. So, you can't really call me the maker if I didn't make it. And yeah, some of them converted sound like absolute crap. Just like, like, Red Alert 1, uh, Red Alert 1 Hell March 1 sounds just awful in 8-bit. I really, I didn't even want to upload it, but somebody requested it, so I went ahead and uploaded it for them. As long as some people like it, now, this has been ever since the beginning of my YouTube channel, like I've said before. Regardless if even one person likes what I upload. Like, so, let's, for example, if I uploaded one video and it had, like, freaking 10,000 thumbs down, but, like, one thumbs up, I would still upload whatever, like, if I was making a playthrough on, you know, and that video was just part of the playthrough, I would just keep going on because at least somebody is finding some enjoyment out of it though if I was playing something or making a let's play or a video or something that got that many thumbs down I don't know that must be something pretty bad but you know whatever I guess <laughs> can't please everybody but yeah just don't get the wrong idea that I'm trying to like say I made these because I never did. I just converted the MIDI files. I have no musical talent at all, not that I know of anyway. I can beatbox. That's pretty much it though. That's not the only beat I can do, but you know, it's just not something I do a lot anymore. But that's really the only musical talent I have is beatboxing, which to some people probably isn't much. That can be impressive to some people. But like I said, can't please everybody. But, uh, yeah, this is a long video. This is just a voiceover. I'm not live commentating this one. I just recorded this after I seen the comments, and before everything got out of hand, I thought I would address the situation quickly. Because that's the last thing I want, like, having to disable my comment sections on, like, basically every video because there's a crap storm from people just hating on one another and saying, like, calling me the maker of this or something, and then people have a misunderstanding about it. So, no, I didn't make this. Like I said, didn't make this. I couldn't make this. I don't have the time to. But, you definitely need to make it and link it to me because I want to hear it so bad. Also, if if you make Act on Instinct in 8-bit, I think you should do pretty much all of the other Command and Conquer songs would uh, sound really good on 8-bit. That's kind of a lot to do. I'm pretty sure that's a lot of work, but, I mean, your channel is, like, basically nothing but 8-bit songs, so... That's probably something you get to do a lot. Hopefully. Yes, 
sounds awesome. I actually wonder uh, how fun your music is on audio track. Hurts yes, Devil, just saying. Yes, sir. Did I say audio track? I'm so stupid. <laughs> audio Surf. If you've never played Audio Surf, you really need to check it out. Name your price. I mean, you don't like... You don't give a exact price for your albums. I can pay as much as I want. Well, that's rare. <laughs> well, maybe I will look through your music and more than likely buy some of it. That sounds really awesome. But anyways, yeah, that's my request. Um... Make Command and Conquer music, please, in 8-bit. That would just be... I think my life would be just about complete. But yeah, anyways, moral of the story. Before any kind of negative intentions get into a conversation, be sure you think about the whole situation in general. Don't just... Like, when you post a comment on the internet, this is anywhere, or even say something to somebody in real life, think before, you know, you speak. Make sure you word things correctly. Because you can definitely, mm, you know, and this is going towards me as well. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or anything. I've made this mistake before, trust me. This is just advice. <laughs> But yeah, before you, before like any negative intentions or, you know, yes, words or be, if you can foresee a crap storm in the comment sections from what what you're about to say, especially if you think about it, just don't even say it. Don't even worry about saying it. And if the music sucks, yeah, it kind of does to be honest. But if it sucks. I uh, just don't listen to it. That's all I can tell you, because you're wasting your own time when you listen to music that sucks. That's why I don't listen to Justin Bieber. <sighs> Sorry if there's people who actually like Justin Bieber. There's people who actually like this particular... The, the, the way this sounds, act on instinct in 8-bit, you know, converted to 8-bit from the MIDI file, even though it's not real 8-bit. There's some people who do like the sound of it. Uh, it's, to me, it's kind of okay. I would rather, you know, have somebody actually make it. Because I'm sure it would sound better. And I'm, you know, like I said, I'm sure there's people who love Justin Bieber's music. And I don't mean it when I say, you know, like, I think his music sucks. I just... I'm kind of blunt when I say things. When I say something like that, I, that's just basically me saying it's not my cup of tea. But uh, if you like it, then I don't care. You can go ahead and like it. Just like if there's people that like this conversion. If you like it, uh, good for you, I guess. It's not the best to me, though. I'm definitely not the best. But yeah, that's just basically it. I'm, and also uh, another thing to explain, it, like in the beginning of this channel, and this is not the only YouTube channel I've had. I've had another one before, but um, I just as soon as I create the account, I can already see that there are going to be haters. It's the internet, and I mean if you're like saying something in a nice way kind of like kind of being 
not hateful kindly. I'm trying to figure out a way to say it, but when you say something that could indirectly sound like you're being hateful, you know, to some people, you never know. I mean, some people take things differently. But anyways, uh, like even when I first clicked create account or whatever it was back then, because YouTube changes like every week now, um, I foresaw haters just just because I have a Sonic character. Like, or just because of that fact, I knew that I would be hated on. And I honestly just don't care because I don't know anybody on the internet. And they don't know me. And I don't take anything they say personally because they don't personally know me. So nothing they say to me can be taken personally. Now, if I was to perhaps for example like with my 100 subscriber build spend four days and like 20 something you know hours that would be technically five days wow i'm stupid um if i was spend that much time on something and somebody said oh this is trash or oh you're fake oh no, no you use this and this and this to make it which, if I did, it obviously would have been a lot quicker than four day or five days. Uh, I, I just honestly, I just wouldn't care because, especially if they even tried to attempt something like that, and you know, uploaded a video of it, I just straight up wouldn't care. Now, if it was like a big Minecraft channel that was well respected and everything and just randomly came to my channel for some reason and seen you know something I built even if it wasn't bad even if it was good or you know whatever and they just straight up hated on it that would just be you know uncalled for let's, just, let's say like I think they're still called Fire UK they do a lot of server builds and stuff and I mean they're like amazing now imagine one of them coming to like a smaller channel like me or somebody else who's started their own builds on something and just downing them about it. To They would take it per personally because, well, they could be subscribed to them and maybe that's what encouraged them to start doing builds and stuff in Minecraft. You know, that they would take that personally probably. And it wouldn't really encourage them to move forward with what they're doing and get better. And I'm not saying I'm the best mega builder there is. I'm 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 pretty much not even close to being the best. I don't see myself ever being the best. Because I've seen some crazy huge stuff with like more detail than I have... To put into anything <laughs> in Minecraft. But, yeah, I'm not making this as like a response video saying, kind of acting like, you know, this stuff don't bother me. And, you know, because there's videos where people will upload something responding to people who criticize them, saying, oh, it doesn't bother me, and blah, blah, when really that's you know, basically responding to their trolls and getting in, getting a reaction, I guess you could say. Uh, my reaction's kind of boring. It's just a I don't care reaction. I'm a pretty much boring person. But, yeah, that's just moral of the story, though. Just think about the situation beforehand, before speaking to somebody about something, you know, or criticizing them, or kind of indirectly saying something, right, kind of by accident saying something that could lead to something negative, because you really never know, like, you never know, especially on the internet when you're talking to people, you never know what situation they're in unless they tell you, um... Uh, and I'm sure these two people aren't subscribed to me because I've explained my situation with my job and my girlfriend, my friends. You know, my, my job just takes up so much time. 
So, you know, basically the only time I have after my after I get done working is making videos or hanging out with my friends, and and that's just that's it. That's just the plain truth. I don't I don't have time to go back in life and reteach myself how to make music from scratch. I'd never had the time to do that. What I put my time in when I was younger and I did have time to, you know, teach myself how to do this and that was making videos and editing videos and that's that's all I've been able to uh you know, have time to do. Uh especially when I was in college, I didn't even have much time at all to get any better at video editing. I just had to do just basic stuff I already knew because, you know, college obviously is really, really time consuming. But uh yeah. Sorry for the misunderstanding if y'all actually think I made these because I didn't and I don't have a problem accepting that. I would not be able to because I just I'm not talent talentedly capable of doing that, if that's the right way to put it. And I just don't have the time. I would have to reteach myself. Like, everything. I would have to teach myself everything on how to make this stuff. Because I have no idea. I will be completely honest. I have no idea how to make this stuff. Uh, that's why I just converted it. It sounded interesting when I found out that you could do it. And then when I did do it on some Kim Man and Conquer songs, it just sounded interesting. So I was like, oh, I'll probably just upload this just for... You know, craps and googles and see what other people think about it. Maybe somebody will actually take the time to um, make an 8-bit song of a of, of Command and Conquer song from scratch. And hopefully, Herds the Devil will. Surely they would. You would think so. But then again, I'm, I think in the West, Command and Conquer is pretty much well known. I'm, uh, as well throughout the world, I think everybody basically knows what Command and Conquer is. Well, not, you know, figure of speech when I say everybody. I'm sure there's people that don't, but <clears throat> probably more people than there used to be because EA has just absolutely destroyed it. Um, but no, just, you know, kind of think before you speak always keep that in mind I used to not do that and it used to get me in a lot of trouble uh, and you could also start crap storms if you're not careful with what you're saying especially to people who think differently and take things a little bit too far <laughs> or don't or like just really just don't comprehend what you're saying to them Like, maker is in parentheses, which is indicating sarcasm, and so is conversion. Uh, it is converted from a MIDI file, uh, and I never said I made it, so yeah. But maybe you will be the maker of it, because I'm not ever going to be able to do it. At this point in time in my life, I don't see myself teaching, well, myself how to do anything with music in general because I just don't have time to. <clears throat> Man, this video has drug out so long. I didn't realize this match was like, let's see, how long? It's probably like an hour long almost. Yeah. Yeah, almost. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to speed some parts up. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I'll have to do. But anyways, sorry, like really sorry if I made anybody think that I actually made these like from scratch because I never did. <laughs> and even if I did, I would agree with you. It does, it does suck. And especially Hell March 1 just sounds like crap. Converted. I don't know who can't remember why or who wanted it uploaded, but yeah, I hate it. I can't stand listening to it. Even thinking about it makes me think of the way it sounds. But uh, yeah, I never made these. Like I said, I don't have the musical talent to. 
I want Hurts Devil uh, to make it <laughs> because obviously he, she knows how to, and I have no clue how to. And I think it would sound really awesome. And nobody's done it before, like I've said, so. That would be a really good claim to fame right there, doing it before anybody else did, so. Since the idea is already out there, I would get to work. <laughs> But anyways, sorry for the misunderstanding, and sorry if you don't like it, then just don't listen to it. <laughs> but uh, I guess I will see you guys later, because I'm going to have to leave some time in this recording so I can actually speed up the video, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to sit through uh, an hour-long stalemate I got into with this bot on here. Man. So many flame towers, it's ridiculous. But anyways, like I said before, and I will say it again, I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'm going to be uploading a uh, War Thunder video after this one, probably. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about an interesting story about my life. Well, it's not really, it's like indirectly correlated with my life. But it's uh, it'll be really interesting. Regardless if you believe in this kind of thing or not. But I will see you guys next time. And I hope you all are doing well. And again, thank you. 100 and 141 subscribers, guys. That's just awesome. Even though not a lot of you comment on my videos very often. Uh, it'd be nice to talk to you for once. <laughs> Because I, I keep seeing the numbers go up, and I'm just like, that's weird. I don't ever really get comments or anything. But I guess people just don't comment. Probably because the YouTube system has been broken. The YouTube comment system has been broken. Which kind of sucks. So maybe that's why people don't comment anymore. But anyways... I will see you guys later. I have to do the voiceover for the next video that will be uploaded. And thank you so much for the continuous support. And I'm sorry if you thought I made these. I didn't make these. And I said it, say it again just to be clear. I did not make these. They were converted using software that converts MIDI files to a file that sounds like 8-bit. But regardless... I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you're all doing well, and have a good night, day, evening, wherever you are, whatever your time zone is at this very moment, I hope it is going very good. Goodbye.